Hello and uh, welcome to Saki Tech. So in this video today, what we're going to be looking at is the differences and similarities between the third generation iPad and the fourth generation iPad. Now as you can tell, both of these guys look the same. The weight is the same, the dimensions are the same. This right here is the third generation iPad this right here is the fourth generation iPad that came in October the 2nd and this is the guy that came in six months or so ago as the new iPad with the retina display this is the recent upgrade to that iPad and like I said mostly these guys are the same so what is different there are two things that are different that could be called major. So the third generation iPad had a A5X processor. The fourth generation iPad has an A6X processor. So essentially that doubles the processing power. There are some benchmarks out there that you can research for on Google and you will see that in fact the performance was doubled I do not remember what kind of benchmarking tools that they used, but you can easily find more information on that on Google. So the processor is uh, faster on this guy. The second major difference is the connector that connects underneath here, so you can connect it to your computer, blah, blah, blah. This has the old school 30 pin connector, and uh, this guy right here has the, has the new um, the 8 pin lightning connector that also ships out with the iPhone 5. So that is the second major difference. Now the third not so major of a difference is the front facing FaceTime cameras right here. So this guy, the old third generation iPad has the standard VGA 640 by 480 uh, FaceTime camera. This one has the 1.2 megapixels high definition FaceTime camera. So if you're FaceTiming on the newer the newer iPads, you will see better screen quality as you're chatting with somebody face to face as opposed to the old one. Now as far as the actual screen goes, both the iPads have the uh, retina display and they sport a 264 PPI uh, as usual and it's still a market leading screen so nothing no changes there as for the battery again there's no change both of these guys can last up to uh, 10 hours total and as far as the back camera goes here the 5 megapixel camera both of the iPads have the same exact camera and possibly the same quality I haven't tried it yet uh, I do know that there's a small tiny upgrade on this one but the upgrade is uh, insignificant to even mention so uh, that is the back camera so pretty much everything else is the same there is a um, another difference that I forgot to mention the Wi-Fi on the fourth generation iPad is a dual band uh, 802.11 ABGN in the old third generation iPad it was not a dual band it was the regular band so you're gonna get faster wireless speeds uh, when you're connected to your local Wi-Fi on this one but this is already lightning fast so when I say faster it really does not matter this is already more than enough to satisfy even an, a user that is beyond average this is just a little bit faster and that is pretty much the comparison between these uh, between these two guys. Uh, it does have a faster processor, twice as fast, so to speak, and it does have the lightning connector and the high definition FaceTime front facing camera. Other than that, why would you want to upgrade? Um, you might want to upgrade if you have an iPhone 5, and uh, maybe you'll buy docking stations, maybe you'll buy adapters, and then you don't have to worry about buying two separate adapters for two different items um, now this is a 32 gigabytes third generation iPad it can sell on eBay for $500 so you could sell this and um, 
put an extra hundred dollars and get this one for six hundred dollars so that's one way to upgrade uh, I don't I don't think you should trade this trade this in on those trade-in websites because they will give you crappy values sell on eBay get the funds buy this that is if you want to upgrade now other reasons you may want to upgrade uh, could be that you were just you just love Apple products and you do want the latest and greatest and even though you cannot always um, afford to upgrade to the latest and greatest MacBook Pro or iMac iPad you can do like I said if you sell this for 500 bucks you can get this for six hundred dollars same 32 and 32 uh, unfortunately the price has gone down thanks to the release of this guy and uh, for an everyday user however there's absolutely no need to upgrade if you're not crazy about Apple products I mean you can love your iPad but uh, then you have the I I Apple fans but if you're an everyday user you do not need to upgrade I mean look let's go to the App Store real quick note how quick that was let's go to this one note how quick that was so it doesn't really make a big difference here let's go to the maps application right here click maps pretty quick click maps pretty quick not as fast as this one but it was pretty quick uh, it doesn't make a difference for the average average user so let's go back and um, let's launch the music pretty quick let's click this guy even quicker um, <clears throat> so there really is no need to upgrade if you're an average everyday user you're not it's not a huge major upgrade and I mean that should be the end of this video there's nothing else to talk about if you guys have questions put them down in the comments section and I will try to answer them and uh, if you like the video just click like subscribe to the channel if you like the videos and uh, thank you for watching this video have a good day guys